Took Tiny Tim home uh, Friday night the 3rd, today's the 4th, because he was really not seemingly doing too great. But um, he does like being with his fellow budgies, so I don't want to leave him, you know, just on his own. So I'm going to bring him back, I'm going to put him inside, and he can choose whether he wants to go outside but I'll be taking him home again. I'm giving him uh, the treatment that was given to me a couple of weeks ago, about a week ago, whenever it was. But as you can see, he's not alert, not, not you know, full of beans, but it's quite warm, he's warm. He looks quite content, which is the main thing. He looks comfortable, which is also the main thing. He's had painkiller and antibiotic, so. Not that I, I don't like, I, I obviously don't like the pharmaceutical stuff, but there are, sometimes there is a need to go there. They do work sometimes. And there's other little gorgeous. He's a, just an absolute trooper. He's had a rough uh, time but he likes to, he's a fighter. So I'm giving him his best chance to, to have uh, as pleasant a life as possible. Okay, darling. Okay, here we come and we can hear little tiny Tim saying hello. It's very wet thanks to this uh, tons of rain. He said hello. So I'm gonna put him inside, inside and he can decide if he wants to go outside, all right? Put him on the shelf here. He hasn't come out, which is not not like him not to want to come out and get involved. So he's inside the night shelter. Let's see how he gets on. I'm not going to put him obviously outside because it's too cold outside for him. Don't have enough insulation, but hopefully somebody will come in and say hello to him shortly. Oh Happy Saturday! Look at all the gorgeous budgies. There's um. Oh my God! What's happened to you? Oh no! What's happened to? Oh my God! What's happened to Max? What's going on there? What has happened? Why are you bleeding, darling? Have you been attacked? Okay, you're not going to be able to stay here, are you? She's been attacked. She's got blood coming out of her leg. My neck. Oh, for... oh, it's not one thing, it's another. I'm going to have to take a look and see what's happened to her. Oh, I've got some painkillers, so I can give her that. I'm going to have to take her in. I'm going to put her in with a uh, tiny pen, I think. I've just managed to get Max. I've taken a quick look. It looks like she has a small wound on her leg. It's, um, I don't know. I don't know if somebody's attacked. Well, it must, somebody must have attacked her because... Uh, Ants is um, paired up with her. Pumpkin has obviously stopped. And it's ants now, but you know, I, I have a sense it's one of the females, obviously, who's gone for her. This just seems to be I think it's a jealousy. It's a jealousy. Who is attacking my Max? Hello, Liberty. Very upsetting. I don't know. Strange world. Right, we're just coming in here. Pip's got some nesting in your mouth. Hello, darling. Gosh, you've just sprouted in a day. Right, here's Lemoncello. And, um, Prince is here. He wants to come out. Hey, Jack. Hmm, still no way. That's Just, uh, not wanting to really try to fly yet. Just wants to be fed but it's fuller today with the feathers, which is great. So I'm just gonna make sure there's plenty of food in there. It's clean newspaper now and uh, spinach. And now Pip is experimenting on the food. 
Is that Sarah missing at me? Please, Sarah, it's just so annoying. Hello. <laughs> I've got a bird on my glasses. I've come to give you some food and you just come and attack me. It's very annoying. These birds just, you know, they, they bite the hand that feeds them, that's trying to feed them, which of course is against the uh, rules. But uh, Pip is just sort of frustrated because mum and dad are uh, just absolutely slightly refusing to feed. Now Pip is now 31 days old, but so where are we actually? We're on the, actually wait, we're on the 4th. 2nd of uh, October, but 29, actually, uh, you're 32 days old. I think, oh, you're good. You're going to my food pot. You're going to <laughs> stop it. Why are you biting me? No. Braveheart. Right. Here's my gorgeous Braveheart. He's now deciding to nip each. Here you go. Uh, I don't know what to say if you're going. He's just asking for food. Desperately asking for food. And, uh, yeah, I obviously tried to give pet food yesterday from the... I swear, it's so mean. Uh, from, you know, the... the and feeding stuff, but not very really interested in it. And, uh, hey, Terence, Jack, and Lemon Cello are just refusing to. And Jack is normally very good. Jack really is normally um, a super dad. Even though Lemon Cello has stopped, normally Jack will keep feeding them. And it's the first time, really, I think, that I've seen him be so. Uh, well, he just is rejected rejected them, which I think is, uh, maybe we need to report them to parental, uh, organization for neglect. So we're going to check on Sheila and Prince and our gorgeous little hatchings. Still hatch, it's the newest one. Hello darling, hello, happy Saturday, how are we doing today? Caught in feeding Pip. Right, maybe that's that's threat reporting him to the uh, parental organisation for neglect. <laughs> has prompted him to get to it and start feeding our little pet who is just famished. Bless you. Good boy, Dad. Good boy, Jack. As you can see from this, um, well, we could have seen that the egg is ready to come out from the Gavincello. Only, uh, well, probably tomorrow now. She's released a lot of uh, stuff from herself, which is, you know. And we have Braveheart. Here's Braveheart, here's Zebedee. Feeding themselves nicely. There's Pip in there feeling fed up. But it's grown a lot. I mean, just ridiculous sprouts since yesterday. There's Lemoncello. You can see that there's an egg in the exit away, ready to come out. Prince is not impressed. Aqua's there. That looks like Hedge. And back is up there with uh, Aqua again. Jack. A lot of activity. Hub of activity going on. Mum said, no, I want that for me. Thank you, get out. Oh! God bless. She's just absolutely out. She's on the warpath, but I guess she's got an egg which is probably not very comfortable. She's uh, tucking in with the energy she's going to need to expel the egg. Right, so they're having a... <laughs> Dream is up there on the left. And Aqua and uh, Hedge, who are having a drink of the jug, the water in the jug. So it's like very nice. Don't do the duties in my nursery, well, that would really irritate me. They have a tendency to just uh, poop in the water, which I have to monitor all the time, because they just turn around and fudge. So they just let it go. Just hey, wait a second. Hope is up there. And Sarah. And then we have Faith and Dream. Faith does like Sarah, which is fine. That's a fine. No problem with that pairing at all. 
cream is the, the Charlotte, and rest in peace, and Charlotte and Sparkle's child, last um, little one, and Faith is of Prince and Sheila. So Charlotte and Sparkle's, although, although Aqua seems to like cream, and that's not going to work because Aqua is, in fact, the uncle of uh, cream. So we're not going to have that cherry. So we have to be Faith. I know Faith is not really a female, uh, a male name, but I called Faith Faith before I knew what uh, gender he was. And nowadays I guess Faith could be anything. So there's Jack and Lovey Fellow. Ignoring our little Pip who's still asking, but is relaxed now. And here's Faith Heart. Alright. Now I'm going to just finish cleaning their nest. I'm going to do Sheila and Prince's nest. The little ones, I'm going to get them out and uh, we'll see how they look today. I've take, taken a look at them at fine. Day 15 for hat. Look at you. Looking good. Very alert. Looking around. Nicely uh, in good condition. Alright, darling, I'm going to put you back in the nest. Alright, darling? I'm going to be okay. quick with this little one with the uh, bolt because they were 19 days old. Look at the colour. We can see. I'm trying to do it because I don't want them to fall off. Here we go, I'll just put you there. Hey, Danny. Oh, don't find. So I got bolt safely, didn't fall. <laughs> it's so ugly. Just start to see the colours covered through properly. The greeny. Start seeing the colours. Look at you. Hey, bolt. I don't know if that's a good name. Lightning bolt, you see, or lightning might call you. Because hmm? you're so quick. Right, so it's going to be either lightning or bolt. Decide. Comments down below, please. And I will go with the first answer, maybe. Right, so bolt or lightning and hatch are both by the hatch. And a little uh, lookout. I'm going to shut the door. They've got a nice clean nest now. Right, Tiny Tim's come out of the cage and he's now perched inside. Um, you're struggling, but he's happier in here, and hopefully some of the others will come in. Right, I'm going to be taking her home tonight, my Max, because she's been in the wars again. Um, I can't see the culprit as to who was responsible for attacking her, but uh, it's apparent that she's Obviously with her sight in one eye affected, she's not going to be able to defend herself. So I, don't, I can't see any other bird with light on it. I'm going to look more carefully at a couple that I think could be responsible. But it's very sad that my darling Max is being... She's quite relaxed now, which is good, but she's been attacked. Let's see, we've got Max in here. Oh, she outside. I'm going to take Max with me today because she's a little bit been in the wars. So she's going to come home. Yeah, I'm going to get Max, have her in with Tiny Tim. Now, it is quite mild tonight, so I'm probably going to let them stay out. They've all got a nice lay of down to keep them warm. And where is Max? Where is Max? Is that a pumpkin? Let's just find Max. Max. That's weird. Not there, not there. No. Where is she? Where's my Max? That's odd. I 
She's over there. You're trying to hide from me, Max. I'm going to get you in. Oh, she is. Hiding in the corner. Just brought Max and uh, Tiny Tim in to the nursery just because the heavens have just opened, the sky's open, and it's pouring with rain. So I'm going to take Max home and Tiny Tim for the night. This should be do with a bit of a rest. Poor thing has been through the wars. My darling Max has Tiny Tim, so I'm going to keep him in here. She's not, I don't really like Tiny Tim much, but. Max, don't be mean to Tiny Tim. Seriously, we've got um, Braveheart and who's there? It looks like a hedge on my head. Hey, darlings. And we've got the youngsters in inquisitive. We've got Braveheart and Fudge looking in there. Oh, tiny Tim just said no, I think so. This might not work. Maybe I'll work for it next time. Maybe I'll, I'll give you some medicine actually and then I'll leave you here I think because she doesn't want to be away from either pumpkin or ants. So I'm going to give her a little bit of medicine and then probably put it back in. Jack and I are having a moment. She's going to be laying her egg and I don't seriously know what to do with it. in love. Most incredible pair. Forty six babies. That's the ones that survived. Just astonishing. They thrive on it, they thrive on parenthood. How can anybody say that um, it's cruel to let them do what they want? Just enabled it. They've decided. She decides what's going on. I challenge anybody. I do. Anybody who says that it's cruel and all the rest of it, they don't know what they're talking about, I'm afraid. I'm the most compassionate person when it comes to animals ever. And I would never do anything that would hurt or cause distress to these creatures, any animal. And uh, this has all come sort of by design, naturally, organically, as they say. And um, what I haven't figured out is how to actually bring it into it. Because she's ready to lay another egg for the next brood. And I can't put her out in the aviary because that would cause her terrible distress and Jack. So he can't fly which really does make it a big problem, makes things more complicated. So um, I'm doing the absolute best I can. And if anybody who's professional, been doing it for many years and can give me any advice, please do write in the comments below how best to handle the situation because this is a, an enclosed nursery. They have their place where she likes where she hatches her eggs, lays her eggs in the hatch and um, it's self-contained. Whereas the aviary is outdoors, you know, it's outside to the elements and it's, uh, it's a bit complicated. And here's our little brave art. I've got Max back in the cage. She's relaxing now a bit. I put some drops on her eyes, gave her some pain relief. So she's calmed down now. It's just relaxing, which is good. Yep. 
filled out now. Ready to look after yourself. I'm going to leave this here for the moment. I'll be back, but uh, Max and Tiny Tim are very relaxed in here with the others. They're relaxed up there. You have Braveheart relaxed. You have Little Pip relaxed. Winning Cheryl and Jack having a nice time. We've got Sheila and the babies, okay? No, no, don't. And then Prince. No, Prince. I think that's in here. Here's Prince. We've got to get you in. Right, darlings? Right, and Max, you're going to stay here. Okay, I'm going to leave you here. Good girl. Right, Prince, I need you here, please. Come on, inside. Ooh, hang on. Oopa. I know, Fudge. That was Fudge, his attempt. Right, I'm going to shut this door. Okay, you're going to shut the door. We're having a little, uh, that's, um, Braveheart and, uh, Zebedee having a little disagreement. You need to go in with your wife and kids, all right? Come on, Prince, in. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. No, no, Prince. He's relented. Thank God in this can. Thank you, Jack. I'm so pleased to see him. Well, I have to leave Tiny Tim in the cage because, uh, he just would have possibly just die on the floor, so <laughs> it might be a bit frustrating for him in the morning. But I think he's happier in the company of the other birds. Max, I just don't know what to do with her. I can't believe. I have no idea what happened to her. I'm going to leave her here. I don't know, I'm going to have to maybe keep her at home. Because uh, there's something not right with her. It's everybody showing off. Eh? Yeah. Night night, everybody. Night night, Max.